following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. Episode 5 of the Anything, Everything, and Nothing podcast with Lynn and Kim. What's up, big sis? What's up, sis? What's going on? Listen, uh, I got a confession. I got a confession. Okay. I really like it when you say welcome to the whole Lynn and Kim oh, thing. You, you sound really good. You sound really good. One oh. week, I, one week I want to do that, but I really like the way you sound when you do that. I just want to put that out there. Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. I would like for you to do it one day. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, may, maybe on maybe episode six I'll try. But you, your your tone and everything is just perfect. So I want to go ahead and give you that shout out about that right there. That's so sweet. Thank you. Okay, what's up, listen? I am doing. um, How's your week? It's it's okay. So I'm gonna start this week. Normally you start, but it's been a week, sis. It's been a week. Um, I've had some unbeknownst to me, some stressors going on in my life, and my body uh, let me know. Um, I, I ended up at the doctor. Uh, twice this week um, knots in my back the size of baseballs mm-hmm. um, I think it's stress related um, had some personal stuff going on with some loved ones not me personally with some loved ones and right. I was all up in the middle of the mix worried about them and worried about their situation and um, I think it got to me more than more than I let on you know what I'm saying right. so right. But um, I'm on two medications that start with an M. I don't know how to pronounce them, so I won't even fake it. <laughs> but um, they one is an anti-inflammatory, and one is a muscle spasm, a muscle relaxer. So okay. I am feeling much better tonight, and I am ready to do this thing that we do called the Lynn and Kim Podcast. You feel what I'm oh. saying? All right. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah. You- on the struggle bus for a minute there. Listen, listen. You can play with it if you want to, sis. I was I was struggling earlier this week. <laughs> you was on the struggle bus, man. Listen, I was like, oh my god, my sis falling apart. Man, look here. I was just like, man, I don't know what this is, but it got to go. I can't, I can't do this right here. I can't do that. Not feeling good thing, you know. But. Not at all. Um, but other than that, let's see. Um, so feeling better today. Today has been a good day. Um, let's see what else is on my mind. I got something for you, sis. Uh-oh. I'm calling it today. What is this? November the 2nd? Uh-huh. I'm calling it today. Florida and Georgia will have the first black governors ever. I'm Out of call- New Year. I'm calling the upset that um, Stacey Abrams is mm-hmm. going to win in Georgia and Andrew Gillum is going to win in Florida. I'm calling it today. Call I'm, it. Call I'm it. calling the upset. I'm calling the upset. Okay. Girl, did I'm you see it Did you see Oprah out in the field knocking on doors in Georgia? No, week? Oprah? The media mogul out there stomping I, the ground for Stacey Abrams. Yes, I ma'am. I saw Will Farrell out there. Okay. No, but this I was, did not know this, Oprah was doing that as well. Oprah, Oprah was in Marietta, Georgia, knocking on doors. Yes, ma'am. Hot dog. Now let me tell you something. All Oprah would have to do is come knock on my damn door. Say what? Listen, I would be like, oh my God. Yes, ma'am. Come on in, meet Poco. Come on, do your thing. Right, right. <laughs> okay, Miss O. Yes. Man, now that's amazing. Right quick, she was talking today about black people getting out the vote. And mm-hmm. for anybody who's listening, she told the story of a man named Otis Moss Sr. Mm-hmm. You heard you heard about him, Lynn? I heard her tell the story. Was that not the the saddest, so sad. most inspiring story that you ever heard? Right. Right. Okay. So, for, so do we need to tell the audience about 
oldest Moss Jr. We don't have to give them no long history lesson, sure. but the fact of the matter is we need to get out and vote. This yeah. man, when he, I think he was 90, was he 90? Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. He, he was an elderly man. Right. And he went to vote and they sent him to four different polling stations. Yep. And by the time he got to the right one, it was too late. They turned the, him away saying it was too late. The polls had closed and before he had an opportunity to vote again, he died. Yep. And I think all of that was BS. I mean, Ab- oh, it, oh, you know, it was, you know, it was weird because, you know, I was thinking about it. I was like, well, darn, it's interesting that each place turned him away for some reason. For, yes. And they had no way to communicate with each other. That's correct. Like, it's not like somebody got on their cell phone and called the next poll and be like, hey, when this old man come, tell him blah, 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 blah. So oh, absolutely. what's amazing to me is that they were all thinking alike. Yes. Yes. That is yeah. nuts. That is nuts. And f- just for that reason alone, we okay. need to get out. But I'm going to tell you, sis, blacks, the young voters and women, they're going to turn they going to turn this midterm election upside down. You watch I now. Hope so. I hope you watch, so. you watch I what you watch so. what I'm saying now. I'm telling you, I got a feeling. I don't know. And I saw, you know, 45 out there stumping the ground and that he just. I don't even know what to, you know what? I don't even have no comment on that. Cause that, that, that'd be three seconds of my life that I'll waste worrying about him, worrying about 45. Exactly. Okay. So I got something else on my mind right now. So before we started the podcast, you know, we talked earlier and I was um cleaning up my office, right? Uh-huh. Getting ready for the podcast. So I was just thinking, what could I listen to? Girl, I put on Sade. Oh, Yes. I got the feeling all sexy and smooth. Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. and I was like, oh, hell, I need some DMX. I'm going to be talking to my sister, not my boo thing. You know what I'm talking about? Right. <laughs> Please Please say that. I was listening to Smooth Operator and yeah. um, not, uh, love, love, nothing is stronger than love is stronger than pride and cherish the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I got the feeling all good and laying back. And I was like, oh shit, hold on. I need to, um, I need to get this. I'm feeling a little sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel sexy on the phone with me. That's what I'm talking about. I was like, okay, I need some something else. So I had to put on some Dej <laughs> Loaf. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with you. I had to get some boom, 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 because I was like, yeah. I get on the phone, I'm like, damn, sis, what's going on with you? Uh-huh. You be <laughs> on here talking all sexy. I know, right? I like, girl, uh-uh, look, girl, by, girl, by, we're going to end this podcast right now. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Exactly, exactly. So, yes, needless to say, I turned off Sade about 10 o'clock, right, and started getting to some little hip hop so I can get myself right for the podcast. You know? Right. Well, but, but other than that, sis, I'm the, the the week. Like I said, the week is it's been a long week, especially not feeling well. But again, Friday night, excited, ready to talk to the people, ready to talk to my sis. So you know, everything's good on this end. How was your week? Um. Well, first, let me say, y'all do know that we don't wait till Friday night to talk to each other. We don't talk fifty eleven times through the week. But See, now we're gonna start this podcast fifty eleven times. 511. That's right. That's right. Already. But now that we done started this podcast, our conversations be interrupted by don't talk about that now. Talk about it on the podcast. Oh, I know, right? Like, hold up, hold up. Hold that for the podcast. Hold that for the podcast. I just wanted to throw that out there just to let y'all know. First, you know, how much we talk and second, oh my God. how committed we are to yeah. saving the word for the people. Okay. Now, sidebar. I I had I needed some space on my phone, so I had and I, you got to get back to your week and what you, what's on your mind. But just a sidebar, so I deleted our Texas mm. one thousand sixty five. Why? <laughs> Why do you and I have one thousand sixty five texts when we talk fifty eleven times? Right. Okay, <laughs> I didn't even. Oh my god, I was and look. When I when I went to delete them, it just kept spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. <laughs> I can't imagine counting the calls. Listen, 
and it was just random shit on the text you know because i was kind of scrolling through them i was just like this is ridiculous but that's what we do and that's how that's why we got the lynn and kim show right now you know what i'm saying (laughs) that's exactly exactly count the calls because i can't count what you may i may have called you and you didn't answer but oh okay okay your name is in my call log more than anybody else you are you are listed as favorite in mine when when oh yeah you and my favorite too it says favorite and frequent numbers called yours pops up first exactly (laughs) exactly but anyway so (laughs) back to your week and what's on your mind oh that is too funny okay so my week was a good week it was a not not too much battling with Mrs. Angst. You know, she nice. she done been around here and there, but woke me up two o'clock this morning. And okay. you know, Mrs. Angst is the name that Kim and I gave anxiety. Yes. I don't know if it's just my anxiety or hers too, but either way, Mrs. Angst is who she is and yes. she didn't wake me up in the middle of the night last night. But other than that, the battle hadn't been too bad this week um okay that's good you know it's been a decent week you know work was pretty smooth um you know interesting clients a lot of clients that are dealing with anxiety um and uh that was pretty much oh well shoot how could i forget about this my week my week evenings were interrupted by halloween festivities so here's the thing. My children are three and five. Okay. And I have made it a point over the years to not introduce, you know, Halloween, Christmas, you know, okay. birthday stuff. Well, even though we have had birthday parties, but try not to make it a thing for them until they get old enough to really understand what this stuff is. So I thought maybe I had a couple more years, but no, we've never done Halloween before until this year. Never bought costumes, never gave out candy, never went to collect candy. It was just another day that went by and Mira Edison did not notice. But this year, OMG, mommy, when is Halloween? Is Halloween tomorrow? Are we going to wake up in the morning and it's going to be Halloween? Mommy, can we get costumes? Can we go down the costume aisle? Mommy, can oh, we buy wow. some candy? Oh, my God. Yes. I was like, where is this coming from? I, I don't understand because I don't look forward to Halloween, so I don't talk about it. I don't get excited about it. But I guess, you know, between TV, kids at school, school you know, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Yep. 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 You they that's where they get their knowledge from. So I had to hear I've been hearing about Halloween for probably the past three weeks. <laughs> is it tomorrow? Well when is it? Well can we get our costume? And really oh my gosh. So I finally broke down and bought costumes. Okay. okay. Spider Man and Power Ranger. And they, I've just never seen them so excited. So that was good. And that didn't make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But it was just Tuesday and Wednesday. I had to give in to the Halloween excitement. We went to a carnival on Tuesday night. Okay. And a, and we went trick or treating on Wednesday night. Now, thankfully, we met Mir's little friend and his mom out trick-or-treating in a neighborhood, and she walked with them while I drove slowly behind them in the car. <laughs> so, I didn't wait have to really participate. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Explain, Explain the drive behind slowly in the walking. Literally, I was driving like two miles an hour. Well, they would go from house to house while I just drove behind like I literally drove the car to about two miles an hour behind them okay or on, beside wait them on, wait, a minute, wait a minute wait a minute okay sis mm-hmm. isn't the purpose of Halloween to get out and walk with the uh-uh. kids and go to door? I'm just asking now maybe maybe not I'm just asking not for me <laughs> okay 
Okay. Well, it, honestly, it really just kind of happened that way. Like I told her, I said, well, I need to find somewhere to park the car so, you know, I can get out and walk. Well, I thought she was walking to the destination where I was going to park the car, but we never came to that destination and they just started going to houses. So I just kept on driving because I didn't know anybody. Now, Dot, my aunt, her friend does live out there, but I couldn't remember how to get to her house. She lives in that neighborhood, but I couldn't remember how to get to her house. And I could have called and asked her, could I park in her yard? But I just kept on driving. Okay. And I can followed we, them. Can we, say, can we say country Halloween? Right, very, right, very country. <laughs> but I was not the only one. There were other people out there driving it instead of walking it. They had okay. kids on the back of trucks. They had um, people, you know, folks in the cars. People were definitely driving it. So I was not alone. Okay. Okay. Look, I, I've never seen it. Well, you know, I don't really particular. Okay. Now, if you hear some licking, that's because I got Poco in my lab. He wants some attention right now, guys. So right now, Poco is all up in the microphone, too. So Poco, say hi. Okay. Hey, now, Poco. You know- say hey Lynn say hey Lynn say hey sissy okay and he trying to kiss the microphone of course listen Chantel came home Wednesday night I had all the damn lights off I was sitting in the dog don't come to my house don't knock on the door I ain't got no candy so Chantel put up she was like why is the house so dark I was like because I didn't want nobody I didn't want nobody coming by here talking about trick or treat. We we were not we were not that family. We never I've never I can't even remember ever having like a costume or anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I just think we just didn't do it. Nothing you know about it, but I just don't think we did it as a family. You know, right? Yeah. Well, and my, my mom and I did. I was of course a princess every year. I don't know of that course. I was ever anything else. Of course you. <laughs> I had okay. Well, now y'all get Edison as well in the background. Um, what's up, Eddie? Who Edison? Speak to Aunt Kim if you're gonna be in here. Speak to her. Say hi. Hi. Hey, hey, Eddie. Pooh. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? Good. Oh, what you doing? Uh, Aggravating my mommy. Uh, no you're not no you're not <laughs> okay sweetie i love you oh, yeah. oh. That deep, look there go that deep right. man voice <laughs> bye okay so yes yeah, so i had this pink dress that i don't know who gave it to me it was pink and white frilly dress that was my princess dress and i wore it every year and my mama would make me a wand with, out of aluminum foil and she bought me a tiara at some point that I had that I wore every year so <laughs> I was a princess every year and she would take me trick-or-treating and then when I didn't really want to do the trick-or-treating thing anymore we would hand out candy okay. and when I lived in my house over there um on the southeast side I would hand CJ and I would hand out candy but it was never that big of a deal to me. Like some people are like, Oh, it's my favorite holiday. I can't wait. And I got to hand out candy. Like I had a client yesterday. She showed me how she had her house decorated and she bought all this candy and she was ready and not as many kids came and she was upset. And I was just like, Oh, okay. Yes. I I got all my neighbors. They got skeletons and ghosts. They can have it goblins hanging yes. off the door she and all kinds of stuff. Stones in the yard and yes yes and I just, well, at some point when cj got to the point where he didn't really care he was old and that's when i started i stopped handing out the candy and started keeping the lights off made my house dark and then when i heard about the situation where the little 12 year old boy got shot yeah for trick-or-treating yeah. i really shut it down then i was like oh no we're done so, yeah, it, okay. it, I, I gave in because they knew and I said that once they start asking about stuff, then, but I was cautious and, um, you know, we just, I, I did feel a way out there in the crowd at, at the carnival, 
-hmm. it was at USC Sumter and the college students were who were in charge of like the games and stuff like that is something that they put on okay and I I I was very I had to I was cautious and I kept looking around and making sure you know there was nothing strange going on because I was like I mean I'm just on high alert now and people had on masks so oh oh yeah you know with 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 the state of where we are right now right you you just never know I got you I got you anywho well did the the boys had a good time they did they did Edison did not want to go he didn't want to go trick-or-treating and I was like, yes. But Mira was like, no. And I was like, oh. Yes. So okay. I said, well, Edison, we'll take Mira and you can stay in the car. But that did not happen. So. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, and I guess for the kids, like, if you know, like, once you talk about, for the kids and, and, and they're, they're young mm-hmm. and it's fun, mm-hmm. but I think when they get a certain age, like the real meaning of Halloween mm-hmm. and what it stands for, then right. you can kind of make a decision, you know. So, yeah. but because right I've, now it's just costumes and candy. Exactly for for the little ones, that's all it is. It's just about costumes, candy, having fun, and being your favorite character, you know. Yeah. So, and I'm so I'm cool, that damn candy I'm cool with that. I'm so okay. that damn candy. Yes, yes, oh but I will say now every year or the week before. The week before Halloween, I go get me some Brock's candy corn. Got to be Brock's. Oh, I don't need no, don't want no generic kind. Got to get me some Brock's candy corn. I get two big bags Ugh. and I eat it over the two weeks. And girl, right now I, I feel just sick because I don't have probably nine thousand pieces of Brock's Ew, candy corn. I can't I know. stand candy corn. It's pure oh, sugar. It's, it, it's nothing but sugar. Nothing but sugar. But Lord, you, it's the best sugar in the world. It's do the best you know the, the story about why they call it candy corn? Uh, no, I don't tell me because if you put, I I mean, I don't know for real, but literally this is a thing, a thing though. If you line up the candy corn with the points together, it makes an ear of corn. It looks like corn, like corn on the cob. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, I wish I would have known that, uh, before I ate the whole damn bag. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. I would have tried it out to see. I'll wait till next year and I'll let you know. I'll wait till Please next year. Please do. We yeah, we need to try that cuz I mean, I saw a picture of it and that's it, it that's exactly what it looks like. It looks okay. like a corn on the cob. Okay, I've never heard that. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that. Thank you for that little tidbit of information. You're welcome. Okay. Your nasty you know, candy corn. Any damn things are good. I don't care what nobody I says. Okay. Stand them things. Ugh. Love them, love them, and I and I only eat them one, once a year. Candy corn once a year. But you know what? They they don't give this not giving out for Halloween anymore. I've not seen candy corn in a long time. It, it like Mir and Edison right now have these bags and buckets of candy. Candy corn is not a part of it. Well, for the most part, I've never seen candy corn packaged. You know where you can give it out. Oh yeah, it, they it was at one point. Back in the oh. day, it was in little little packages. Okay, no, I got the big old two pound bag, so right. I've never seen them in the individual bags. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. they they had it back in the day, but I don't know what the deal is now. But they it used to be given out because I would I remember I would put mine to the side because I knew I didn't want it or throw it in trash or whatever because okay. I didn't want it. Okay. So, other than that, you've had a good week. Yes. Um, the boys had a good Halloween, which Thanks. is good. And uh, life is good. Yes. Nice. Um, it's all is well at the moment. Um, life is good because we're defying life by doing the Lynn and Kim podcast. Oh, Can I get a plug? Can I get oh, a plug? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a plug? Can I get a plug? <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Um, you know what I want? I'm going to see if our producer, you know how they have that thing says, dun, 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 when you have news. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Liz? Yes, I do. Well, since we don't have news that sound, sound effect, we're going we're gonna to move on to the anything, everything, and nothing in the news, Lynn and Kim style. Okay. <laughs> Look, but listen, but listen, 
look, honey, the news ain't uh shit. The news this week is not it hadn't been good news. You know what I'm saying? No, not at all. Not at all. And you man. know what? Before we get into it, because I did not do the what's on my mind thing. Um, and I can definitely say there's a thing on my mind right at this moment. Okay. Right before we got on. Amir told me something that I found disturbing. Oh. And it goes along with something that we'll also talk about later. Um, and I don't know. I'm not sure how to feel about it. And if it's something that I should take to the school. But he told me that they he was playing with the little boy that's in another class, not in his class. And they were playing police officers. Okay. And a little boy named Jacob um arrested Amir. Oh. You know, pretended okay. to arrest him okay. and threw him on the ground and oh. was pushing his face down in the dirt. Oh, wait a minute now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, that's um Okay, where where's the aggression and all of that coming from? Right. And where have you seen Yeah, that's that's officers do that because you would have to have seen police officers do that to think that that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's a little bit beyond just kids playing cops Mm -hmm. and robbers. Okay. Hmm. So I asked Amir, did he tell a teacher and he said, No, he forgot. (laughs) Of course. I said, well, you telling me about it like it bothered you must not have bothered you much if you didn't tell anybody. But Hmm. I'm trying, you know, I'm turning it over in my head and trying to figure out, is it something that I need to go up there and address? Well, now, let me ask you this. Does now, Jacob, do are you friends? Are they friendly? And like, do you know them outside of school? Mm-hmm. Like, no. is this something that you could go to Jacob's mom about? No, I have no idea who that kid is. Ah, okay. He's in a oh, completely okay. different class than Amir. But apparently all the kindergarten kids, when they go outside, they all go outside together. Okay. Um, I think I would tell Amir not to play the cops and robbers with that, mm-hmm. with Jacob anymore. That's number one. Um, cause that, that could just be dangerous, you know, pushing mirrors uh-huh. face in the dirt, that, that, that could just, that's a whole nother thing in itself, you uh-huh. know? Um, and then if it continues, I think I would take it to the school. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, that, that's a hard one right there. That's a hard, I think I would tell Mir not to play with Jacob. Right. Okay. Or not to play cop, not to play uh-huh. what is it, cops and robbers or police and robbers. I don't think I, I would tell Mir not to play that game with Jacob. Yeah, and I think I did tell him, well, you need to stop playing with Jacob. <laughs> yes. But yeah, that was that was a bit much. Uh, Jacob's Caucasian? I'm assuming. Okay, don't know. I didn't know, and I didn't ask. Okay. Hmm. I just okay. assumed in... And I know it's not, but I don't want to make it a thing by asking him either. Right. But that would be interesting if he uh-huh. was. If he was, that would be very, very interesting. Exactly. So, okay. Now, sis, I may have to take a 30 second sidebar because uh, Poco is doing the most. He's in there scratching on the cabinet. Mm. And I'm trying to hope that he'll stop. But right now, um, I guess he wants a treat or something. I'm not quite sure, but I might do something to earn a treat. Huh? Did he do something to earn a treat? No, no. I'm like, sit down. You didn't do anything to earn a treat. That's my point. (laughs) That's my point. You didn't do anything to earn a treat. treat Yeah, he might not have any food in his bowl. It might be that as well, but I'll check and see. But anyway, um, since you said that about Mir, remember last week when I was trying to describe to you the feeling that I had when I saw 45 um, on the stage in Wisconsin, remember? Yes. And I was just like, I had this very eerie feeling. Yes. Well, my boy, Sean King, just, he, he put something on Twitter and I just want to share it with you because I, it describes what I was feeling. Remember, I was having a hard time describing how I was feeling, what I felt, but He said, um, the United States is an unstable, fragile nation. 
and is much closer to a full-fledged meltdown than most of us want to admit. We are in a very bad place. Mm. And that, sis, summed up what I was feeling when I saw 45 with all those Caucasian people back there chanting and, you know, clapping and laughing and smiling. That's what I felt. And I just wanted to share that with you. Mm -hmm. Don't just because I couldn't articulate last week what I was feeling. You know what I'm saying? But that is, I, this, this country is, 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 is in a full fledged meltdown. I really believe that. Mm Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. And so, but I was glad I was able to see that because, you know, I follow Sean King on Twitter Mm -hmm. because they keep it 100. They let you know what's happening. Right. You know, so anyway, that I just thought that just in those few words, he was able to explain exactly how I was feeling. But you can also feel it like it. It feels scary and yes eerie out there and you're looking over your shoulder and you're wondering and I even had I had a new client today come in with of course the issue of anxiety and part of her anxiety is having to do with going out like going out in the community going places wow. going to the store or whatever because she's scared wow and that that's that's for even when even when Bush was in in office and especially the the country seemed oh sorry guys the country seemed to be more unified when mm-hmm. Barack was in office you know yeah. it just seems like it was just kind of happy times people were kind of getting along you know mm-hmm. even though I'm sure all this stuff was going on but right now it's in your face don't give a damn about blacks whatever or, and that's that's or other feeling color yeah well yeah oh, we'll say brown we'll say brown blacks people. browns yeah, any, yeah anybody, of, anybody of color <laughs> anybody of color yes right okay but anyway so that i just wanted to share that with you because i was trying to just express what that made me feel like when i saw that when i saw that picture mm-hmm. of him you know but anyway okay so um getting back to in the, the aen in the news talking about the state of the country um i'll talk about what you said white men as terrorists <laughs> i was like exactly. i was like damn <laughs> well it's been said um don lemon in trouble for saying it and uh other people are saying it i think sean king has said it mm-hmm. that you know you know we the country has pegged the other brown people as in you know middle eastern folks as terrorists yes but in one week three different terroristic if that's a word activities happened and the culprits were white men so Um, explain who else is whenever you hear about somebody killing bombing who is it right exactly i mean just call a spade a spade you know what i'm saying and some somebody has posted out there a picture of all of the mass situations that have happened yes all have been white men uh yes now mind you i don't have nothing against white men i wouldn't call myself racist i don't believe that i am i'm just calling a spade a spade just like you said if it was black men i would say black men what black men do is shoot each other (laughs) if you want me to talk about black men then i black men shoot each other right what brown men in the middle east do is kill themselves um so you know if you want me to go down the line i'll go down the line uh Chinese people live until they're 120 years old. <laughs> so okay. they don't kill themselves or each other. So, I right. mean, you know, this is not anything against the mass of white men, but there are a few in the bunch who have come forth and participated in terroristic activities, but y'all want us to believe that 
the terrorists are the people from the Middle East or the black people. We're the aggressor, aggressors. We're the um, violent ones. And that's not to say that violence does not happen by and among black people, but you're, but it's not against a mass of people that don't have anything to do with whatever it is they're mad about. Black people kill each other. Yes, they have a specific target. <laughs> when when the violence among us happens, and I mean, it's just being 100, it's being real. There's a specific target. There's a specific reason, whether it makes sense or not. It usually doesn't. But it's not against somebody just because of their race or their religion. Right. Right. right or their um beliefs. It's because you, you know, stole my drugs, you stole my girl, you called me a name, you stepped on my shoe. There's usually a specific reason. And like I said, it ain't got to make sense. It makes sense to them at the time. But there is a specific target. Most of the time, innocent people don't get caught up in it. And when they do, it's because they was in the way. But they were not a target. These men, in one week, these three men had specific targets. Yes. Yes. And it was targets based on political views, mm -hmm. uh, the, right. the, the color of their skin, and the thing, and their religion. The, the bombs being sent to all of the Democrats, mm -hmm. that's in a category by itself. Right. The man who shot and killed all those people in the synagogue. You see what I'm saying? And then the was this, I think his name was uh Kenneth Bush. I think that's what his name. The guy in Kentucky who went to the grocery store and shot the two elderly people. But then prior to going to the grocery store, he tried to do a Dylan Roof and mm -hmm. go to a black church. Right. But he could not get in. You see? That's crazy. Yes, it is. That's crazy. But but then, Lynn, how did Mr. Bush and how did the man at the synagogue, how did they get taken in alive? Right. Let's ask that question. All three of them have been taken alive. How did they get taken in alive? I mean, we know the answer, but then you want to know why Kaepernick is protesting. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. You want to know why Eric Reed is taking the knee? That's why. That's why. Right. The man in Florence who shot the cops. Mm -hmm. Two of them. Two of them have been have been buried. They these families these families have lost their loved ones, taken in alive. Right. And it's I ridiculous. thought that the protocol was if somebody's shooting at cops, you're supposed to kill them up. No, when we're supposed shooting at cops, we're supposed to kill you're them. You're supposed to pump them full of bullets. No, and when you're we justified. Are. You can get away with it because they were shooting at you. No, when we are. I'll say it again. Apparently. When we are. Apparently. Yes. apparently 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 but i don't know sis i just that that whole it has been a, it's been an ugly week yes and, and it's really all over the news a ugly few the, weeks because i mean that was ugly too that particular situation and that was a couple of weeks ago oh yeah that was but the thing too. about it is what are, what are we going to what is the country what is law enforcement what are they going right. to do about it and because how many more, it's obvious that they're out yeah there. how many more of them are out there Exactly. And so, yeah, exactly. you are scared. I am scared when I'm in Walmart and I see a, a white man in the children's section where I am, but he don't have no children with him with a long black trench coat on. I'm like, Why exactly. you got a trench coat on? Why you got Where a trench you coat on? on? Why you got a trench you coat on? You look weird. Why are you over here in the children's section? You don't have no children. And, and it makes you want, see. And then then here go Mrs. Anks kicking in right. because exactly. And here exactly. I am profiling. I don't profile, but now I'm profiling and I'm nervous yes. and I want to hurry up and get out because I don't know what this man about to do. And he really might be in there buying his children or grandchildren, whatever it is that he needed to buy them. That's right. That's right. I don't want to be, right. I don't want to be scared of white men. I have friends that are white men. Mm -mm. Don't 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 pull the. I have friends. No, who are white. no. See, that's not that ain't what that is. 
<laughs> that is not what that is. You know, I am not racist. I have a black friend. Yeah, no. You know. No, no. Not that ain't that. I don't yes. want to be I don't want to become afraid of, you know, people that I have not had a problem with. Listen, sis. I got the side eye with everybody now. It don't even matter. I got the side eye. Every yeah. Caucasian person I come across, I'm looking I'm looking peripherally out my yeah. out, out, out the side. I do too. I mean, it was a man. I was at the gas station. Two men in a work truck. The driver, when he was driving by, he was looking at me real hard. And I was standing there saying, why is this man looking at me so hard? And got nervous and ran in the store. Okay. Be- because it's real. Because it's real. What's happening is real. And you don't know if you will be the target or not. You right. have no idea. Well, yeah, no. Because so- imagine that grandpa that went to the store with his grandson. Yep. And 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 the and the woman, they were just going to the store. Going to the store. So yeah, I'm I'm nervous when I'm walking in Walmart with Mir and Edison. Well, I say it's best to be on high alert oh. than to not be on alert at all. Yeah. I mean, and I hate you hate to live like that, but that's that's what I that's how I'm surviving because right. I rather think the worst and expect the worst than to sit here and think everything is okay and next thing you know yeah, something right. you know mm-hmm. exactly but it just well, shouldn't i mean the point is it just shouldn't have to be that way it's not supposed and, to you know it it's a newish thing is happening more lately so why you know what i mean are they really trying to do a another genocide is that what we're trying to accomplish Man, look, I don't, I don't even know, sis. All I know is that it's real. It's coming from the top. They are following suit. They feel like the messages are being sent from 45 directly to them. You know what I'm saying? And they are living out what they feel that they should be doing to make America great again. Don't get it twisted. Right. Don't get it twisted. Well, did you hear the ad that they are some uh pack or something down in florida you know how you get the calls about hi my name is so-and-so and okay. i'm running for governor they got a robo ad in florida sis mm-hmm. about andrew gillum that's the black guy who's running for governor uh, have you seen right. him have you seen him interviewing sis um not interviewing no listen that's a bad brother. Him and Stacey Abrams, man. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, that's another, looked, that's another story. I know he looked bad. So, he fine. Oh, you you know what? You <laughs> listen, can, can we focus on the on the politics, I please? Listen to him, him, but I done seat him. You done seat him, okay? <laughs> and what you think you liked. <laughs> okay. Well, check this out. So they got this robo ad that's calling around to, to, to people, right? Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, they doing the whole nigga ghetto thing real bad mm-hmm. so what they doing i'm gonna read it to you but i'm gonna try to read the words like they're saying it in the ad okay because okay. you know i recorded the ad okay <laughs> so it says hello there i is negro andrew gillum i be asking you to make me governor of this here state of florida mm-hmm. my esteemed opponent who done called me monkey and then they got monkey noises. Like, oh, 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 oh. Oh. They got monkey noises. Okay. Is doing a lot of hollering. Look, hollering. Oh, okay. About how expensive my plans for health care can be. But he be thinking of the white man's medicine, which is expensive because it uses science. What? How about that? That is the that is the commercial, the robo ad that they are playing in Florida when you answer your phone. That is the robo ad. What yes, in the ma'am. world? So my question is, why would they even be allowed to do that? You know what I'm saying? There should be some type of law that says, you know what, you know, I mean, with the expensive and hollering and I is Negro Andrew right. Gillum. Are you serious? So it's actually, the call is actually going out. Somebody approved that that could be done. The, this call can actually be made. I guess you can pay for the ads, whatever. Yes, but that is the oh, ad God. that is playing when you call. They got this call going out. Yes, that's it's called the robo ad. And 
But you know what he said? I'm not going to worry about that. Mm-mm. I'm not going to worry about that at all because the people of Florida are going to do what needs to be done. Exactly. But, can, but, but the point is, can you believe that they are allowed to do that? No. Okay, sis. I, okay, we're gonna take we're gonna take a thirty second break. I'm gonna run to the kitchen, okay? Yeah, because Poco he doing the most. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hey, producer, we need a commercial right here. You got it. Okay, good. Appreciate it. Okay, sis, it's not the food. He got to go outside. Okay, oh. so we're gonna have to commercial break. What, Yes, hold on. We we just inter- look entertain 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 the listeners for one second, okay? Um, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Sitting here, producer. We need a commercial right here, please, sir. Can you cover that? Thank you. I will watch Friends until she comes back. It's the one where Rachel is going to say who, they're going to figure out who the daddy is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Listen, I'm like, not any other damn night, he be in there sleep. He doing the most tonight. Yeah. That was the quickest pee. I'm like, boy, you better pee. I know okay. that's right. Oh my God. He didn't just well, why a... he didn't just pee on the pad? Because I'm doing the podcast. You know, just like a kid. That is just really thing the... bothering me if I wasn't doing it. Yes, he in the he at the door just scratching, 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 scratching. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! Well, anyway, I so, I put it out there for producer to put a commercial in. So nice. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, so anyway, since we talked about the we talked about the the robo ad, um, what about that That's sad hotness. story at the uh, Butler High School in Charlotte? Yes. Now check this out. You know, I was up in Charlotte Monday. It was happening. It happened yeah. Monday while we were up in Charlotte. Yep. Yep. And so where we were, the school was only about a mile and a half away. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we were right in the area well, of where it took place. Again, that situation is what we just talked about, where the kid took a gun to school. And he shot one person. I am so sorry. The wind is blowing and Poco is on yeah, level 10 as you can hear. It's okay. okay. I'm just, it I'm adds just, flavor. Um, okay. let's, let's, give some, let's give it some doggy flavor. Here he go. So Keeping it, keeping it 100 as right. we say. So he shot one person. He didn't take that gun to school and shoot up school. Mm-hmm. Not to say that it was okay for him to shoot that one person because it was not at all. But but going back to the thing the you were talking about, we were a talking specific about earlier, target. he had a specific yeah. target. Not exactly. I'm going to just shoot whoever I want to shoot. Everybody. Whoever I'm mad at. Um, or because they white. Or Chinese or Puerto Rican. No, he, okay. he had a specific target he took care of that target and he was done. And he was done. But now it, it's alleged that he was being bullied, right? Yeah. And you said that they got into a fight Bullying. over the weekend? Yeah. Correct. Okay. So I, how old was the guy who did the shooting? Oh, he was 15 or 16. Oh, okay. I don't think they can charge him as an adult, but see, that sounds like that was premeditated. Oh, yeah. Something happened over the weekend. I thought about it. I stewed about it. Where did you get the gun from? 
the, the you know where he got the gun from probably a friend or either at home then because nobody a lot of people don't care about the safety and having those things locked Why up do man. People you know what i'm saying doing this i don't understand it okay but sis let's go back to the fact that he said allegedly that he was being bullied right people parents and especially the school districts they don't take bullying sis seriously no they don't they they don't oh it's just kids being kids uh-huh. oh somebody's so sensitive oh it's not a big deal it it's not like we were if you are being bullied and you feel like you get into a corner they either kill somebody or they kill themselves exactly and that's a shame that's a shame yeah and now and then you said that the the person who got killed, the young man who got killed, his people are saying that he wasn't a bully. He was the nicest person in the world, you know, right? Mm-hmm. But let me tell you something. See, people think that picking on people is just picking. Right. But that's bullying. It's bullying. It's bullying. You know, when someone tells you to stop, leave me alone, you're supposed to stop and leave leave them alone. But then why are you doing it in the first place? Right. And so now you got this guy saying he was bullied then you got this family saying he was the nicest kid in the world so you got one of us one of our young black men going to jail and now one's having a planning a funeral right that's a that, that's a lose-lose situation it is very much so yeah that's a that's a lose-lose situation and and what then and then what now you got all the kids who were at school monday morning i mean lynn first thing monday morning you got killing on your mind right now unless something was wrong with this young man what 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 could this young other young man possibly have been doing to him you know what i'm saying yeah to make you want i mean lynn it's seven o'clock in the morning right. why is killing the first thing right. on your mind why are you why is i mean if y'all fought over the weekend why is the next step to kill why that, not let it okay. go or fight again i mean or fight but lynn, what's what happened to fighting with your fist right right what happened to you know push push and then you do the little thing where come on come on mm-hmm. come on you know what i'm saying and then but what happened to that they don't do that anymore everything no, is about everything killing about a gun and it yes wonder is it who was i talking to oh i was talking to dolly shout out to my friend and insurance lady dolly bullock um, what's up dolly <laughs> was talking to her today and it is like it's almost like him not realizing that shooting him would kill him almost like if mir had a gun like his mentality amir's mentality that oh i'ma just shoot him but he's not gonna die like you almost feel like these kids you i mean it shows you that their frontal lobe is not developed dude think are you not looking at the consequences of shooting somebody that you're taking their life and yours Not you do realize that once the bullet hits them it could kill them and it makes you wonder do they realize that no in that moment sis they don't in that moment it's about the revenge and getting what back or stopping get or stopping the pain that you are causing me right. that's what they're thinking about i want it to stop that's crazy you so know, it stopped, you know, and now you about to get picked on some more by a whole well, lot of people. Yeah, well, and you don't you know, have no gun to shoot them. You know, and then if now and see what happens if I mean, there's no justification for shooting for shooting a young man. No, but what if they find some history that this other person was bullying him or whatever? He gonna get some time oh, yeah. regardless. But again, it's just a shame. Yeah, and. Saying that, sis, they got, um, I was telling you earlier, they got a, um, and it's all over the country, but a young girl did it here in South Carolina, Mm -hmm. um, over in Lexington County. They have this thing called a buddy bench and it's being put at all of the elementary schools, um, out in like the playgrounds and they're different colors i guess you know colors of the school or whatever but it has buddy bench and any kid who needs to talk or needs a friend Mm -hmm. all they have to do 
is go sit on the bench. You don't have to say a thing. You go sit on the bench and either a peer or either a teacher will go over and sit next to them and talk to them. Wow. That is, I think, the best idea that I have heard in the last several years. It is. Because we got so many kids who are socially awkward. You know what I'm saying? They are developmentally delayed or just immature, and they don't know how to make friends. They got situations going on, and I think that's a great idea. I just, I love that idea. I hope that they take it to um, middle school and high school. I don't, I don't, yes, think, they need, they to, need, I don't to. think they need to just do it in elementary school. Right. Yeah. I agree. I, I, I love agree. that idea. Um, I can't remember who started it, but it, it's, it's, it's gaining momentum. And I think that every, I think that should be in every school throughout the district because that's just and that will probably cut down on people you know who need to talk people who are being bullying they could tell somebody you know I just think that's a great idea and I hate it going back to the guy at the high school I hate it if he was bullied I hate that and I hate that he didn't have anybody to talk to so where he could be talked out of possibly of taking a gun to school and shooting someone because I, again that's just two of our young men that are gone. And it's as simple as that. Yeah, you know? exactly. So, exactly. Now, I'm a, you're not a sports fan, but, you know, Eric Reed. No. I know. Eric Reed is one of the guys who was in support of Colin, Colin Kaepernick and was kneeling as well, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. And he was just signed by the Carolina Panthers um, a couple of weeks ago. And okay. he is like pro black, don't care. It is what it is. And I'm going to be true to who I am and to how our people are being treated. But anyway, you know, he broke down. He was a part of the the NFL players coalition. And I'm not I'm not going to make a I just want to share this with you. Um, he mm-hmm. met, he and a bunch of other black players. Um, decided that they would start the 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 NFL coalition trying to you know bring bring light to the injustices and why Colin Kaepernick was protesting and they had a meeting with the owners but if you look on YouTube or either on Google he broke down that NFL black coalition and why he stopped and basically it was just a farce People were doing it for their own agenda. It didn't have anything to do with Colin Kaepernick, but he put Mm -hmm. the NFL players and he put the NFL owners on blast. And what I loved about it, Lynn, Mm. he named names. He wasn't like, and this owner said that he called out Bob McNair from the Houston Oilers. He called out Robert Kraft from the New England Patriots. I was like, you better do it, boy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Loved it. He is my new hero, honey. Okay. So what was he saying? Well, he was just saying that it be, it all became about money and about the politics of it. It wasn't about okay. injustices and why Colin Kaepernick and he and himself is that a word or he and Colin Kaepernick were protesting. It became everybody, okay. it became about you. everybody else's personal agenda and how Agendas, they got in right. there and start being coons in the words of Tariq Nasheed. They got in there and start yes son and no son with, with, with the owners. Mm-hmm. So then he left the coalition and basically told all them all them players to kiss his ass. And right. I love it. Okay. So Eric Reed is my new hero. That's a bad brother. Okay. He's a bad brother. But look, look at his. I'm gonna have to look him yeah, up. Eric Reed. He plays for the Panthers. He did. He okay. He did that. Now, sidebar, sis. Okay. Mm-hmm. You no, know, me and you talk about everything. You know, we don't talk about mm-hmm. sports. Oh, you're right. You no, know, because you you're not a big sports fan, right? And so I'm like, damn. That's me true. and my sis talk about everything, but the one thing I love the most, me and you don't talk about. <laughs> I just thought about that today. I thought about that today. Oh, I thought about that today. But anyway, do I need to? Do I need to start? I, look, I'm gonna need you to up your sports game, okay? 
Do I need to up my sports yes, game? I need you to up your sports game. I need you to go to um ESPN. But don't you talk to you talk to Kenny about sports? No, I don't. No, we don't. No, no. I don't talk to look. I don't talk to anybody, anybody? about sports because nobody, none of my friends really oh. like sports. Tyrone, Tyrone doesn't oh, wow. like sports. And what's so funny when Tyrone and Trina have a um, a sports question, they call me. <laughs> no, it's funny. Well, you need to, you need to talk to um producer then. Yes, that's your sports okay, part. Well, there you yes, go. I'm gonna have to because we talk. We literally talk about anything, everything, and nothing except sports. <laughs> except sports. <laughs> Do we need to add except sports to our I title? Know, right? <laughs> the, the anything, everything, and nothing podcast except sports. You know, except sports. I mean, okay, yeah, okay, sis. Nah, have you heard the the rumor? Rumor? <laughs> it's a it's a rumor going round. Of, okay, now, so is are we in entertainment now? Sure. Yes, let's go to entertainment. Ha, ha, let's ha, go to ha. entertainment. Yes. Um. What's her name? Um, Aisha Tyler? Yes. She done jumped the fence. Jumped the fence? Mm-hmm. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> That's Wendy Wick. Allegedly jumped the fence as in... As in... She like me. <laughs> She, you said she like what? She like me. I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> she wants you to be her girlfriend. She, her want me to be her girlfriend. Oh, shucks. I, so you mean to tell me Aisha Tyler. Yes. Aisha Tyler from The, from view, the view. Who's no longer on The that View. That is correct. That has her own show. Who is on, um, who is on Criminal Minds. Yes. yes. She... And her husband divorced, and now she got a girlfriend. Yes, ma'am. Look, ha! Told Molly. Listen, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Okay. Now let me tell you about the allegedly. I done seen some pics of them kissing. Mm. Okay, and holding hands. So, mm. but I'ma still say allegedly. Allegedly, truthfully. But she said. <laughs> but she. That was a good one. But she said. <laughs> what her said was that she has found love. Unexpected. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Um, she's Caucasian. Mm-hmm. And her name is Emily Best. She's like a movie producer, actress, writer, or something. Okay. That, well, I wonder where she found her. I don't know. That's her boo thing. Maybe she's a writer on criminal criminal. That's what I was thinking. Maybe she's a writer on criminal mind. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know, right? That's like I never, I never would have thunk it. I, well, looking at her, I, I never would have thunk it as well. But I mean, I'm not mad. Get it where you get it. I'm saying, get it where you get it. I'm not mad. Exactly. But when I, I was just like, does that say Aisha Tyler got, got a girlfriend? I was like, oh, that girl, is... you better go and do your boo thing. I'm not mad. You know, yeah, I know, I'm right? Like, okay, do your thing. Do your thing, honey. Um. Okay. Well, you know what? Sidebar. Sidebar. Yes, having to do with girlfriends. Okay. We had, uh, I think it was episode one of our show, we discussed transgender yes. uh, persons. Yes, we did. And we talked about the twins who were, who have transitioned yes. from uh, female to male. Yes. So, speaking of all of that, I still need the answer to the question on... Why does a male to female trans transgender person have a girlfriend? Why does a I have wait a minute now say it again? Why does a okay. male to female to female transgender person okay. have a girlfriend? Okay, i.e. Bruce slash Caitlyn Jenner. Okay, mm. and I have heard a second of a second person who is going through the transition male to female male to female and well he wants you to wants you to refer to him as she so she has a girlfriend okay now his mother her mother sorry asked 
is it a girl girl friend and in a real she born a female right not someone who she got offended okay but i mean you know how do you expect your baby boomer mother to know what terminology to use and that is a valid question right i agree okay i do yes that is a valid question like but, but I don't understand. Hell, it. hold on. I gotta, so I then, gotta get a damn pen for that. My dad gotta write this one down. This is like this is like a damn um a, a damn puzzle. Okay. So you got right. a transgender male who's transitioning to be female. Right. Okay, and then that female, the transitioned female, wants to date a woman. Right. So that means she is So then did did you transgender yourself to a lesbian woman because you would think that the person transitioning to be a woman would be attracted or want to date a man right right okay i get you i get you so yeah ma- it's confusing maybe we can get caitlin jenner on the show <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing or maybe we can contact the twins you know what I'm saying? Right. But no, but see, right. But they, they were, but, but they were attracted to women. women. Yeah. They, so they yeah. are, they are so women they, transitioning to men who are attracted to women. So that, that's, that's the, right. that's what we can consider, would consider normal. Right. Okay. So we going to have to find a male who transitioned to a female who wants to date a woman. So then she is a right. lesbian transgender person. Right. So is that a different title? Okay. Is that a different flag? Because apparently somebody posted on Facebook how everything in the LGBTQ RSTUV has a different flag. Exactly. Oh my God. Here they go. And I was like, what? But it was like 20 of them. And I was like, well, where are all these extra titles? Because people making stuff up. That's why. (sighs) Oh. Well, then if they go, then make this up. This is a thing. A transgender male to female that dates a female. That dates a, what they call cisgen female. What? Oh, Lord. Yeah, there's a, there's a thing called cis. S-I-S. Your cisgender. S-I-S. Huh? S-I-S. Yeah. Okay, Yes, which means that you are a female that identifies as a female. You, you know what? That's a- you were born a female, and you are a, and you identify yourself as one. Okay, so wait a minute. I was born a female, and I identify mm-hmm. as a female. So I'm a what? A cis what? C- cisgender, I think, is the name of it. I mean, that's some shit somebody just made up. That. Oh, why? Why just can't be a woman? What is understand. all that about? What is all that extra? I don't about? understand. Well, I I met with a a young lady, a client who was trying to explain this stuff to me, because she was the one I think I told you about that thought that she wanted to. Oh, sis, not S I S. I'm sorry, C I S. It don't matter. Um, it don't matter. <laughs> C I. No, I'm about to get. Listen, I'm about to give you the definition. I'm about to give you the definition denoting or relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender corresponds with their birth sex. Okay. Lynn, whatever the hell that's just some shit. That's just some (laughs) shit that somebody done came up with. So, so basically that means you straight. (laughs) Yeah. Basically that you identify with what you are. Oh my God. Cisgender. Is a term for people whose identity match their sex. Like me. I'm a girl and I identify as a girl and I do girl shit. I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> so see here they go with that making up shit. So if you are a girl who identifies as a boy, then you're just trans you're transgender. What the hell? Right. Hey, what is this cis and piss and list? They make me sick with all that oh, God. It's too much going on. Yeah, cisgender pangender oh lord it's so much it's so, okay it, but anyway okay hot it, it, you know it's called hot mess hot mess label everything, so everything, but everything. i still want to know okay well i say let's let's put an email out to what's her name caitlin to caitlin let's put an email out to caitlin and see if we can get her on the show 
Okay. And I mean, I mean, you know, hell, she might, she might respond. <laughs> right. <laughs> she might. Okay. Anybody out there who knows Caitlyn Jenner, let her know that we're looking for. Her. Okay. Sidebar. I'm not mm-hmm. critical. Caitlyn Jenner, Jenner is one of the ugliest women I've ever seen in my life. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, Caitlyn. I just wanted to put you did not make a cute woman. She now you see. made Caitlyn. Look at her. You was a fine ass man. Listen. She might have should. That man about, was pretty. Listen, listen. I don't know. She she was not meant to be a woman because she is uh, the, one of the most unattractive women that I've ever seen in my entire didn't life. Didn't take enough hormones or something. Or something. Cause... Now you know the girl, the black girl from um, Orange is the New Black. She's pretty. She's beautiful. Oh yeah. You know. What oh I'm yeah. Um, um, Cox, L- Laverne Cox. Laverne Cox. See whatever she did or something and it might be the whole age thing because he waited till he was damn near 70 to, 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 to be himself which i'm not mad at him right. but i'm just saying he is not a pretty woman i'm just now saying. when bruce jenner was a younger man he was fine yes but he done done some stuff to to the face before even before he transitioned exactly he did he messed his face up he did even before the transition because uh, right now i'm looking at a younger picture of him and he was very attractive in the past <laughs> in the past in the past like, in the 70s in the past because honey in the 70s what's going on now is is not cute Mm-mm. it's not cute okay no nah, because it wasn't cute as a man either exactly because he whatever the plastic surgery was it didn't do justice to his face yeah it did something but it, it damn sure didn't do justice it did something but it was not justice because mm, i don't, I don't mm-hmm. like talking about people because i don't want nobody talking about me but <laughs> <laughs> shit he ain't <laughs> yeah that yeah that, that's, that's rough. rough that's rough but he was back when he was an olympian he was quite handsome okay okay well um so what you think sis how you feeling i'm good you good okay. wide open I, I i i hear you wide open <laughs> that y'all don't woke me up listen that ice cream got you going <laughs> ice cream got me got you. listen sis got you okay sidebar sidebar this ain't got nothing to do with nothing okay i know we ain't on that yet That's but okay. what's your favorite ice cream <sighs> brand my favorite okay truthfully Food Lion, yes. Fudge Royale, oh, Food Lion brand. Okay, Food Lion, ain't, yes. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Listen, cause you know I'm simple now, so I like chocolate vanilla. But they got the vanilla with the with the with the syrup with the chocolate syrup in it, and mm-hmm. it's, it's Food Lion Fudge Royale, girl. Yes, sir. And okay, that's 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 my favorite one. That's my favorite. I can one. dig it, cause I like like I like Food Lion brand. Butter pecan ice cream sandwiches. Okay. And I like Food Lion brand Heavenly Hash. Oh, okay. But my favorite brand is the one that is not the cheapest. <laughs> that would be. Which is what I was eating. Briars. No. No. More expensive. Uh, Let me see. Bluebell. No, oh. I do like Bluebell though. Okay, let me see. Um, I don't know. They got know. one called Millennium that I really like, and it's very hard to find. Find, and I found it in IGA. I was like, oh my god, it had Millennium. I haven't seen it in forever. Okay. But anyway, no Hagen Dazs. Oh, oh, now wait a minute, Hagen Dazs, the almond, the vanilla almond bar. My lord, uh-huh. yes sir. Oh my god, yes sir. Heavenly, yes, sir. listen, heavenly, heaven 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 now, honey i love those things okay now, i was like drooling over one i was looking at in the gas station yesterday. yes when you said but, ice cream I, I didn't know you were talking about the bar girl i get well no i wasn't talking about the bar okay, i was yes. eating a pint okay yes earlier Hagen-Dazs. yes Hagen-Dazs. Hagen-Dazs. i have a pint of something that appears to be new that is called honey salted caramel almond or something okay but it's so freaking good okay oh my god do you like to eat ice cream in the winter yes i know right? anytime i know i can eat ice cream anytime and let anytime. me tell you i like to make a homemade milkshake i get the fudge royale and put oh. a bunch of it in a glass and just a little oh. bit of milk and then i yes. stir, stir it, it up with the yes. spoon yes sir yes. yes sir and eat it That's with a- the spoon. <laughs> 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that used to be one of my mama's favorite things to do, except she would put Coke in it as well. Have okay, she would make a float. She would make a float. <laughs> Yes. yes honey yes. but that's how she made milkshakes though she yes. we didn't have no blender no you have no blender you don't need no blender girl you put that thing in there girl I just, you put oh. that spoon clinking against the glass clink, 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 clink. that's right click 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 and then when you when you first do it it's so thick and you pull it up and all the ice yes. cream on the spoon and you put it back down yes. and pull it back up oh. and pull it back down yeah that's nostalgic that's nostalgic yes honey yes that, that really remind brings memories of my mama <laughs> yes those are good memories oh those gosh. are good memories okay okay that was a complete sidebar that was complete thing sidebar. I didn't do that. but that was a good sidebar that was a good sidebar okay sis why we still got like a whole nother hour of shit to talk about listen um, i was here to say sis, we gonna we gonna what what you gonna do what we gonna uh-uh do? i want uh-uh keep it keep it rolling what keep do you rolling. think about this what do you think about this with the question mark, dun dun. <laughs> Sis, and yes. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make this real quick. And for the listeners, listen, guys. And in the words of Oprah Winfrey, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. If you are in an unhealthy and toxic relationship, get out. Right. Just get out. One of my closest, someone dear to my heart was in a situation this week. I told you about it when we first started. And the thing about it, it's been bad for a minute. It hadn't been right for a minute. And now it's come full circle. And now it's all the way to the left. You know, we got possible charges and all kind of stuff. And... If it's not good, just get out. And I know it's hard. You can't change people who are traumatized. Right. They need therapy. You can't love that away. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And I'm not talking about somebody who can't communicate or is not affectionate. I'm talking about people who are literally unhealthy. Their core. Right. Their core is messed up. Right. There's nothing that you can do about that. So listeners, if you are in something unhealthy and it's toxic and you know what that means, it's just not good. When you find yourself crying, when you find yourself wishing that you could do something different, get out. Don't you be responsible for trying to fix someone else because you can't. You got to get out. Stop the madness. I understand fighting for the relationship, but you got to love yourself and your sanity more than you love that relationship because ultimately it's going to end and it's not going to end well. And so I'm all stressed. I found them knots in my back that I was telling you about. It's because I've been worried about the loved one in my life. I know it. You know what I'm saying? You can't fix somebody else's crazy. You can't fix somebody else. Sis, say that one more time. You can't fix somebody else's crazy. Okay, that's the, you can't get no more layman terms than that. You can't fix nobody else crazy. You can damn near fix your own crazy. So how are you going to fix somebody else crazy? Right. Okay. So if you in it and you try the counseling, and you try to work it out, just just go. Maybe you can be friends. Maybe you can't be friends. But an unhealthy and toxic relationship will ruin your life. And you will find that you have made days and months and years have passed. And it's just eating away at you. You know what I'm saying? And I just thought that was important for the listeners because I've been through it this week. I see what it's done to me. I see what it's done to my loved one. And it mm-hmm. ain't cool. No, it's not, not cool. at all. It's not cool at all. Get out while you can. You know what I'm saying? Love yes. yourself more. Fix you. Can't fix somebody else. You can't fix somebody else crazy. Right. Period. Dot. I love the way you said that, sis. Okay. Thank you. That was good, baby. That was, I love that. I love that. <laughs> that was good. Write that down. Write that down. That was good. Right there. That was good. Right there. Can't fix somebody else crazy. We need to put some, we need to trademark that. Right. Look, going to hang it up on, it, on, a, on the wall exactly. in the office. 
Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Like okay, that's so, what the what the clients will see when they enter the office. Exactly. You can't fix somebody else's crazy. Listen, I can't fix your crazy. Okay. <laughs> so, no, so they, right. Here, that's it, right there. Here for me to fix your crazy, you need to for go someplace else. <laughs> that, right. I can't fix your crazy, but I can help you. Come on in. I can help you. That's right. <laughs> okay. Lynn, you had a um, you got some, you got an interesting little uh situation with some with some people that you seeing yeah. and uh, you thought it would be interesting to bring it to the people and get some feedback again um if you got some feedback you can hit us up at lynn and kim dot a e n at gmail dot com that's our email address which is currently empty because ain't nobody emailed us so i'm gonna need y'all to get the email I need, because I know last week we had some really good questions out there. So we, we did. Need y'all, we had some really good questions. So we need y'all to send us some emails. Now, yes. just because we don't have none, we're not going to take that personal. We're not going to take that personal. We're going to keep on, on asking now. for them. Right. Okay. okay. So All right. the question is, um, after losing a spouse, when is it okay to start dating or is there a timeline is it is there some appropriate amount of time that you're supposed to wait or (laughs) do you just kind of jump in when you get the feeling um I have over the over this past year I have had two clients that have lost spouses um For one of them, it's not been a year yet. As a matter of fact, it's a, well, it's a year this month. So the year is coming up in the next few days, I believe. But okay. she has already started dating. And hmm. uh, it's pretty serious. Okay. And I'll get into, in just a few minutes, who she's dating. Okay. Um, well, I got a sidebar for you. Okay. I got an answer for you. Um mom waited 19 years Oops. before she started dating <laughs> hey great day okay mom t- listen it was 19 years after the death of my dad before she started dating omg damn near two decades right ma <laughs> sis she she did the most with that. She really did. She, but she said she was just content with her children and her grandchildren well, and her friends. I get that. I can understand yeah. that. But nineteen years, she waited nineteen years. So she was. Let me see. They've been seeing yeah. each other now four years. Yeah. How old was she? Five, seven, one, and two. So she was sixty-eight when oh, she met damn, her current she- boo. So that gives some yeah. people some hope. <laughs> yeah. But my, how did you like, even know what to do? Right, right. You know, but you know, see how kind of, you know, she little spiffy thing, honey. But you know, you yes. Think, listen, you think Mama and Mr. Freddie be. Mm-mm, don't go, don't, okay. don't do it. I'm sorry. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh-oh. Please do not put that. <laughs> can handle a lot of things but not that I, i'm a bad bitch but listen <laughs> Woo. yeah no I, I i don't need that 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 picture frame in my head i don't either yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i don't want to <laughs> you went there i just had a big gulp in my th- like <laughs> jeez okay so okay yeah, I, I I don't know how it muted, but yeah, I don't want that visual either. Okay. Okay. Well, so okay, hold on, sidebar. Okay, so from what I understand, when they like seventy and seventy five <laughs> and eighty, all you got to do is like just let them touch your thigh. Whole hands. Oh, okay. They touch your thigh. Touch your thigh, and, that, and that's that, it. Yeah, that that's from what I understand. Uh, cause Mama got a friend, and he is eighty plus. And she say, she say, Callan, I got me a Cadillac, and all he do is rub my thigh. 
I was like, oh Lord. Oh. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. Ew. <laughs> I know, right? And I'm like, well, what happens when he rubbed the thigh? Like, does something happen for him? You know what I'm saying? Right. Does I'm it just feel good? That's TMI. TMI. Yeah, you, oh, look, 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 baby, you good? Baby, you good? You good? You need to you need to rub one more time. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. Well, that's just you like, need to rub a little bit closer. You need a, to rub a little bit closer <laughs> to the growing area. <laughs> there was a lady that wrote in a strawberry letter to my. She was sixty seven and something other about her and her boo doing the do uh, all the time. I was like, ew. And she was time. upset because. It slowed down. Oh, I was okay. Like, oh, okay. Well, now we got a. I got a friend, and he only mess with women sixty five and older. Ooh. He said that's the best punani in the world with the cobwebs. And listen, honey. Obviously, I don't. You <laughs> must not have no cobwebs, <laughs> cause uh, yes, sir. Is it? Yes, sir. Oh, he God. he sweat that, and he's he's fifty, and he say because you is it's the F and F. The what? They feed them. They feed them. Oh, and they pluck them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for. Not I don't know if that. I can say that other word. Don't say it on on. Yeah. So he said we'll the older women. Ourselves. Yeah, he say the older women. They do the F and F, mm. and he and he loves it. They mm. don't want nothing else. I was like, Ew. but it's it's seventy five year old Poochie cat, right? And he was like, it's still, it still operates works. really well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that give me some hope. Maybe I don't have to have so much anxiety by getting old. Okay, well, no, please don't, please don't. And look, when you are doing the do at 65 and 70, let's not talk about that on the podcast, okay? We sure will. What else would we talk about? TMI, okay? I'm just saying. We sure okay. will when I'm 70 and you 81. I will definitely be 81, yes. And I hope that I'll be still having getting my groove on. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, look, gyrating with the bad no, hip. Ma'am. Old people said, listen, that, it was a video going around Facebook with some old people. Oh, Lord. Mm. They were dancing. Doing what? So they say. Oh, okay. But it was gross. Anywho. Okay. Anywho. So back to, so anyway, the, the sidebar was mama waited 19 years. I don't know if you have to wait 19 years, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, that's go a ahead. whole lot of lot. So that's a whole lot of lot. Is it 19 years, 19 months, 19 days? I mean, what are we talking about here? Wow. What would be appropriate? Like I appropriate. said, I got my girl over here. It It's a year this month, but I think she's been dating the guy for like six months by now mm. um and then i have this new situation in which okay so the lady's husband died last okay. year the lady's husband okay got it okay and she had a best friend of like 30 some odd years you know that helped her through that took care of her you know, their families always spent time together, even before the husband died. You know, it was this, it was almost like a Lucy and Ethel kind of thing. You know what I'm talking okay. about from, from I Love Lucy. Sis. Okay, say so that again, You know what sis? I'm talking about from I Love Lucy, right? Lucy and Ethel? Yes. Okay. Yes. So almost like yes. a Lucy okay. and Ethel kind of thing. Well. Okay. Got you. Best friend dies this past summer. So, wh- who's left is lady and best friend's husband. So oh, here you go. Since, here you go. Since best friend died, lady has been, you know, helping husband out, cooks for him, you know, hangs out with them. But he, as she called it, made a declaration that... Mm. He has always admired her. 
and thought that she was, you know, sweet, nice, lovely, whatever. And also said, we're not getting any younger and I don't think we need to be alone. So basically he was saying they need to be together. And she was like, whoa, pump the brakes. Okay. All right. Let me, let, let, let's do a recap. All right. Got a lady, her best friend for 30 years, mm-hmm. Ethel and Lucy, mm-hmm. down like four flat tires, like me and you. Mm-hmm. They could, they could have had, they could have had a, they could have had their own podcast. Right. Okay. One, the, the best friend dies, mm-hmm. leaves the widower husband. Mm-hmm. They've been hanging. Mm-hmm. And the husband has now confessed or declared that he admires his f- deceased wife's best friend. Right. How long has been? She died in July. He told her okay. this in August, though. It had been a month. Okay. Okay, so here's my thought with that. All right. If they were like you and I, if they were Lucy and Ethel, mm-hmm. every intimate detail about their lives, she knows. Right. She know what food he likes. She know how he is in bed. Mm -hmm. She know if he can get down with the get down. That's just. Mm. Okay. So the question is, Uh, first question was, when is it appropriate? The second question is, what do you think about dating your deceased best friend's spouse? Now, I also said that I'd tell you who my other person is dating. She is currently dating. A friend of her deceased husband. Not best friend, but close friend. That okay. she never really knew when she, when they, you know, during the marriage, she never, she didn't know, know this guy. Okay. And he showed up at something that she had in honor of the husband. And they just kind of struck up a conversation and it took off from there. It took off from there. But they are serious. Okay. Like baby on the way. They weren't kind of serious. Okay. But they weren't best friends. They were just. They were close friends. Like they hung out from time to time and, you know, but they weren't. Okay. Best friends. Woo. Okay. Um, I don't know if there is a time frame on how long after your spouse dies. Okay. I think that just depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you meet somebody the next day, I think that's more of a rebound, Mm -hmm. but I don't know that there is like, I think 19 years is too damn long. and Nine hours is too short. You know what I'm saying? It's not long enough, but I guess it just depends on the circumstance you know, how and why the, you know, was it a terminal illness? I mean, you know, how long has it not been a, ma- you know what I'm saying? It's, it's so many factors mm-hmm. that go into it, but I don't know if there is a right length of time. Right. Okay. I, I, I can't, I can't say it should be six months because you, what if you meet somebody who's really, really nice mm-hmm. after three months, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and we're talking about, a person who is dead and gone. And you know, my mom always says life is for the living. Mm-hmm. That's that, that's, that's her, that's her model. Life is for the living. So that one says, I don't know. I think I would try to pretty much say it just depends on the person and the situation. I don't, I don't think I would judge on that one either way, unless it was like the next mm-hmm. day. Right. You know, well, what, so what, what about the best friend situation? Now, mind you look at the, look at the scenario. Both of them lost their spouses. Yes. And they were a, they functioned as a unit. Both of them lost their spouses suddenly at that. Oh, boy. That just, and I don't know. I, I mean, you know. I know things happen. Yeah, I know things happen. I don't know. 
if I could be romantically involved Mm -hmm. with my best friend's ex. I mean, my best friend's widow spouse. -er. Widow, yeah, yeah, widow, or yeah. That's, boy, that's, you know, and then sometimes you got some of these people like, like, Y'all need to be together. I, I just I just personally I don't think I right. could do it. And especially if you like best friends. Right. You know. Well she if, if I just she's not interested. Huh? I said if we were just like acquaintances or something, but my best friend, like I said, I'm sure that she knows everything about this mm-hmm. man, the good and the bad. You but, know what I'm saying? But if the universe is drawing them together with the help of the husband and the wife, the spirits of the husband and the wife that are gone. You know what? <laughs> Here you go. Here you go with the medium shit. Here you go. Here you go. I'm serious. Like it could be. I mean, it 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 could be. <sighs> because what? Because okay. why? Okay, why should they be alone? When they could have each other. But who go to match.com for 50 but over? Why though? Do, who said, when you got somebody that you've you known know? right here for 30 years and she kind of cute. Because she was my best friend, because that was my best friend husband. That's why. Okay. That's so why. at this juncture. They, okay, let me ask you this. They got kids. They got yes. kids. Does the husband have kids? Yes. Well, the, so the daughter sure. is not his daughter, not his biological daughter. Okay, but but he's been okay. So I'm sure that, that see that just seems weird, man. So then if you get married now, you my step mama who used to be my god mama. That's just doing yeah, the most for me. I don't know. That, well, the daughter yeah, knows you know, that they've been hanging out and has been okay with it. Okay, she's giving she's giving the yes. blessing. But at this juncture. The 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 lady is not interested in a full fledged relationship that includes anything beyond him massaging her feet. Um, that's intimate in itself. Sis. It is. That's intimate right there. She lying. She lying. She I don't lying. think she's lying. Sis. I don't think she's lying. I think she's confused. I think she's at an impasse. She's saying she's sis. not, but she's not really sure. I don't think. I think she lied. Because if she wasn't interested, she wouldn't be massaging her feet. Trust me. Well, she that's what I'm saying. And she, I think yeah, okay. like she cuts it off with the I don't even want to think about relations and I don't want to think about no marriage or even calling you my boyfriend. But I think she is thinking about it. Mm. Well, and wondering, uh, is it is it because she? I mean, she enjoys the time that they spend together, and she's going out where she wasn't going out before. She was just kind of cooped up in the house all the time, and she's kind of. It has motivated her to, you know, be able to clean out her husband's stuff and her daughter's stuff, who okay. also died okay. last year. Um, right. And even her mother's stuff, who also died last year. Well, really in 2016, but at the end of 2016. So so she's lost four people very close to her within very close. Okay. a year and a half. Um, mm. So he has... Even with all that... The time... Even with all the losses? Huh? I, I don't know. I said even with all the loss and, and everything, I... And, and, and I get it, but I mean, and sometimes it is what it is and things just happen and it could be the universe and maybe it's the commonality and the familiarity. Mm-hmm. You know the word mm-hmm. I'm talking about? Say, say it for me. Familiarity. Familiar, yes. familiar. That's the one I'm trying to say right there at 12, 16 a.m. Mm-hmm. That's oh, the one. Lord. You know, every week I flub up a word now. Right I flub now. up something. <laughs> but yes, and 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 it, and it might be okay if if it was a healthy relationship and there was nothing going on while everybody was married and in mm-hmm, their thing. Mm-hmm. And they, maybe the spouses are up in heaven. Like you said, bringing it together. It just seems a little weird mm-hmm. for me. Like 
I wouldn't want you to date my boo thing after if I mm-hmm. died. And I wouldn't want to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For many reasons. <laughs> I can't think of any friend boo that I would want if they yes. died. Yes. Like, I don't just help me find somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or something. But yeah, I don't I don't want you to yeah. So let's make a pack now. I'm putting up my pinky. I won't date your boo thing and you don't date my boo thing if something happened yes, to one ma'am. of us. Pinky swear. Okay, okay. I, I lock got my pinky, pinky up lock and let's, it. let's lock pinky. it. Let's lock the pinky. Okay. Lock the it's pinky. Locked. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. That was that was interesting. That that was interesting conversation. Yeah. Okay. Um so, um, do we need to move on? Yeah, I hope the, yeah, I I hope the audience good. is still with us. I hope our listeners are still with us. I mean, I'm having a good time because, you know, this is what we do. Right. So, so they can like it or lump well, it. Well, we have um, a situation, guys, that um, it's called Lynn and the Stalker. <laughs> Say that one more time. Lynn and the Stalker. All right. I got a stalker. So Lynn, Lynn, tell us about the stalker. Okay. So. (laughs) (sighs) There's a stalker. At least that's what I'm calling him. So quite some time ago. This is what happens when you meet people in Walmart. I met this guy in Walmart. Right. Okay. He seemed nice enough. A little bit older. You know, um, okay. not at all really my type. Just nice enough. Like, eh, okay, well, okay. maybe we can chat on the phone sidebar. every now and again. We exchange phone numbers. Wait a minute, sidebar. Wait a minute, sidebar, mm-hmm. sidebar. What, what, why wasn't he your type? He just, it was just something that wasn't, I don't know. He's a little short. Okay. So that's one problem. Okay. And I think it was the older factor. And he was not he's not okay. that much older than me, but he appears to be. And not by looks, just by the way he carries himself. Okay. Got an old Kinda, soul. Yeah. Kind of okay. right. old soul soulish and just yeah, just I don't know. And it's just something I don't know. He's I don't I don't even know how to explain it. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, okay, I just wanted to know what I wanted the the listeners to know what you're well, talking. Well, you know what I'm saying? Cuz you say he was not really short. <laughs> <laughs> not not old not timey. Old timey. <laughs> um you know. I got a okay. thing for basketball coaches. <laughs> okay. So if you're not a basketball coach, then I guess you're not my type. Shout out to the Saving English show. <laughs> okay. Shout out. Shout out to the Stadium Bye. English show podcast. Shout out to the Stadium English show. Okay. Oh, so, <laughs> featuring Coach Kurtz. <laughs> oh, gosh. So. Okay, but anyway. We exchanged anyway. numbers. And he's one of those kind of people okay. that, like, text you as soon as he gets your number. And I was like, oh, gosh, can you wait like five Listen, minutes? Y'all exchanging Walmart and you on aisle 12 and he on 10 right. and he texting. I was like, uh, okay. 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 And okay. good gravy, the text message. Okay. First. Okay. Okay. Now, sis, you know, because we're both like this, you know, I, I think I get it from my mama because my mama was an English teacher. I don't know. But I got this. Yes. I got a thing about grammar. Absolutely. Syntax, grammar, content, yes, punctuation. All that. Okay. Yes. This man texts <laughs> with no punctuation. The longest run on sentence. The text message did not take a breath. I Sis. By the time you read the text message, exactly. you're tired. I'm out of breath. <laughs> and I was just like, no. That yes. was the first problem. Well, maybe the second problem. Okay. 
you can't text yes. properly because you don't use punctuation. Okay. I need some periods, yes. some exclamation points, commas, a question mark. Something. Yes. Yes. Don't ask a question a and comma. not have a question mark. I'm just saying. Or some yes. ellipses or something. Give me something. Give me something. Okay. So he he words. just got words. It was just words. He talking about the he talking about meeting in Walmart and the skies oh, blue all in the same thing. Oh okay. my goodness. I couldn't I take it. I couldn't take it. So okay. that was the write off right there. Okay. Bam, you written off. Okay. So he you kept done. trying to text me and I would never text him back. And then finally he sent that okay. text that was like, Well, I guess I'm bothering you or you're not interested or something he said. And in my head, I was like, you're exactly right. But I never, I ain't responded to that. You got it, buddy. <laughs> right. You got it, buddy. Look, you are a winner. You okay. are a winner. So here's the reason why he's a stalker. Okay. So I run into him yesterday at where? Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. Of course. Of course. <laughs> now, it's been forever and ever. And here he pops up again at Walmart in the parking lot. He spots the the one time I'm at Walmart with my car and not some a rental car, or somebody else's car, because that I guess that's probably right. what helped him identify me as well, because he knew my car, because he had to walk okay. me all the way to the car the first time. Anyway, oh, okay. he spotted me and you know said hello. But it wasn't just hello and walk off. It was walk all the way into the store with me, stand there while I put the kids in the buggy. Um, He finally did walk away when he had to go do what it is he had to do. And I had to go stand in the long line at the money center. But I'm standing in line with the kids. I look up and he he goes standing next to me. I was like, oh, God, why are you here? Okay. Yeah. Problem. Problem. So. I'm not really talking to him because I'm already aggravated because I had to stand in the line and it's late evening and I'm grumpy because I ain't been home yet and I'm tired and I'm like, why are you here? All that. All that. Okay. Not really talking. And so why are you here? So I thought he was going to follow me all the way to my transaction. And I was like, surely this man got enough sense to walk away while I go do my transaction. And he did. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. But he stalked me while I was in that damn line. Okay. Today, I come in from some from Columbia. I'm turning into oh. my office. Nobody's there because everybody's off, so there are no cars in the parking lot. It's just me. This car comes driving okay. into the parking lot, and I was like, "Oh Lord, who the hell is this?" Because ain't nobody else here. Right. And I don't recognize this car. Car pulls up and parks beside me. Guess who it is? OMG. stalker. He says, I saw you at the light. You saw me at the light, so you followed me where I was going? So you followed me to my job. OMG. Right. Right. I guess you didn't see me flash the light. No, I didn't. I was not paying no attention. I did not why not just wait right. while you flashing the lights and why, why not, not when I didn't see you moving. you just gone about your business came into the parking lot so I was like oh hi no I didn't see you and I said okay well nice to see you again and went on about my business because I was just like why are you here but wait a minute did you you didn't go no. inside the building so now he knows okay no, gotcha. ma'am. okay I was okay. at my car saying okay. you know no I didn't see you okay well nice to see you again have a good one <laughs> here he go, here he go. and then he drove get the but message. he did drive away so hopefully that's the end of my stalking experience but I felt it was stalkerish um, because literally you saw me at the light and then followed me where I was going and, and for what right. because once you flash the lights once he flashed the lights and there was no response, he should have kept it moving. Why are you following me? He should have kept it moving. Yeah. He should have kept now it moving. Now you know where I work. I guess. Okay. I did not are say, because I did not say this is where I work. 
Okay. I good. just was it at the are, are you are you scared? Are you a little fearful? No, just annoyed. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm just messing with you because you know Miss nah. Anks. Anks can't Kiki have and, that one. Anks okay, can't have that one. Okay. I'm just You're not annoyed. gonna let her have that one. Okay, all right. Because I do, I do okay. not. So like hopefully, well, yeah. No, I mean nobody like, don't, does. Don't okay. Do that. Um. Well, I hope that he will get the message. But you know, from what I understand from my men, folks, guys don't take the message. You got to be get like, on. listen. <laughs> I'm not interested. I don't like the fact that you don't use periods and commas in your text messages. <laughs> Your grandma is not correct. You are short. Leave me alone. Please go somewhere. Okay, goodbye. I am not interested. Goodbye. Then he'll get it. But if you leave any little door open, they're going to keep walking right on through. That's what I get from my men folk. So I need my men folk who are listening. Is What do men need? If a woman is not interested, what do men need to be told? Well, I I was kind of, again, at. it was evening. I just got off the road. I was grumpy. So he ain't getting no smile or nothing. So hopefully, hopefully. He'll see you at Walmart. Oh, He'll no. see you at Walmart again. <laughs> okay. And I told him, I was like, you scared okay. me. Well, <clears throat> and what did he say? Yeah, I didn't right. mean to scare you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, um, I hope that he will get the message, but if he doesn't, then we'll send a text. We'll send a text and we won't sis and we won't put no no function. We just gonna send a text. I don't like you. I think you are a stalker. Please don't call me. You're a, actually you're a little short for me. I don't want to run into you right. in Walmart I don't anymore. Think you know what I'm saying? Gonna send a text. Oh Lord, I thought the number wasn't in the phone no more. Oh well. Okay, so yes, so let's let's hope that this will be the end of the. Yeah, the I'm Mr. surprised stalker, I haven't the short, gotten a text. short stalker Maybe man. He lost my number. Yay. Yeah, yeah he he's thinking about oh, he's thinking God. about what to say. With no period. Okay, well, sis, remember, um, I think it was either episode four or three, I told you about the yes. the neighbor and the fence. The neighbor and the fence. Okay. All right. So, you know, we got the fence fixed. So I text the neighbor and I said, thank you very much. We got the fence fixed. Really appreciate um you being willing to help us out that was really kind um if we need you in the future Mm -hmm. let you know okay much appreciation okay and so he texts back and said okay well whenever you're ready let me know i'm here okay i just said we got the fence fixed right okay but anyway okay so i was walking poco the other day and He said, hey, neighbor. I said, hey, how you doing? He said, I'm doing good. He said, you're Uh looking good over there. Uh, Oh, and then I said, (laughs) "Uh uh-oh, uh-oh. I said, "Uh uh-oh. I said, yeah, look, I said, yeah, just getting the exercise on, you know. Yeah, just getting the exercise on. And he said, all right, well, it's good to see you. And I said, you too. He said, let me know about that fence if you need me. Now, I said, okay, I sure will, but it's fixed, you know. So, was I, did I misread that Mm. early on? Or what did that, about looking good over there, what did that mean? Okay. Now, okay, check this out. Now, his girlfriend's Mm -hmm. car was in the yard, but I'm assuming she was in the house. Or am I overthinking it because someone has planted that seed in my head that, he wanted a little bit more than to just fix yeah, fence. Yeah, I do you see believe what I'm that that's quite a possibility. Okay, that, that what, you what's could a be overthinking it because it was planted. Right. Okay, because looking, because he he could have meant looking good mm-hmm. walking the dog. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He could have meant that. So 
But see how yep. see how stuff can exactly. get in your mind and mess with you. I'm just saying. But now, if I sent you a text and said, "Hey, the fence is fixed," I appreciate every your willingness to do it for us. Isn't that yeah. like closing the door, saying like I would it's think done so. and over? So, okay. And now I was trying to close the door. Fence is fixed. Don't need you anymore. Appreciate what you were going to do for us. So the when you're ready, let me know. Yeah, I thought that yeah. was weird. That is kind of weird. What did that mean? I thought that was weird. When you're ready for what? Okay. So again, any male, any male listeners out there, I need you to know, did I not close the door with that text or did he just, or is he just trying to keep the door open or am I making a mountain out of a molehill? <laughs> ah, aha, aha, aha. Okay. But anyway, I just thought we would, you know, just give a little update on what, on, right. on what what's going on in our lives, you know. Well, it's still a, it's still a question mark. It's still a question mark, sis. It's still a question mark. Okay. Well, sis, you know what time it is. Should I? What time is it, sis? This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> nothing to do with nothing. My favorite part of the podcast, sis. Now, I'm gonna throw back because I just I can can I can I start? Yes. Okay. This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But I saw a picture of Jasmine guy the other day. Ooh. Sis. Mm. Sis. Mm-hmm. Sis. Jasmine Mm-mm. guy, she ain't aging well. Not at all. Listen, Whitley Gilbert was one of the most prettiest women I've ever seen in my life. Yes. Something has happened. Something. Something now has she happened. She's aging like, like the other folk. Listen, you know how they come out. Black don't crack. Yeah. That's a lie. She ain't using she ain't using enough shea butter. Listen, sis, I was like, what the who the why the what the mm-hmm. hell is going exactly. on? Exactly. Yeah. That was, I, I felt the same way when I saw her on something. Now, I saw her. This was a picture in the People magazine just a week ago. She was with, I didn't even know she had a daughter with her daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Her daughter don't look like her. Yeah. No, she doesn't. But I'm <laughs> just saying, I'm thinking about Whitley Gilbert. And then I'm yes, thinking auntie. about Jasmine Guy. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened. And that ain't got yeah. nothing to do with nothing, but I saw it and I was devastated because you know I was in love mm-hmm. with with Whitley Gilbert. Yeah, buddy. Okay, okay. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. I don't know what she was doing it after um she left Hillman. <laughs> What's the Hillman College? Or how how old is she? I mean, she looked like she seventy eighty five. Yes, <laughs> like for the on the real. But how old is she? Let me I see. don't know. I don't know. Let me look it up. But whatever it is, sis, it it she need to. It's just, oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Rough. That 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 didn't have anything to do with anything. She but, is fifty six, and she looked like she's seventy six, and that's only a few years older than you than me exactly. And you don't look nothing like that, and Cause is sexy. younger because I'm sexy fine. I'm sexy fine. <laughs> Yes, you are. I'm it's and fine. It's younger than what's her name? What's what's our girl name? Um, hold on, what girl name? I don't know who you talking about. Hold on, now. who are you talking? That's about? younger than. Oh goodness! What girl? Waiting to exhale. Waiting to exhale. What's Angela love got to do with it? Angela, Angela Bassett. Bassett. Okay, I'm just like, what the hell? Did yes. you have a brain freeze? Angela Bassett is 60. Looking like she 40. Right. Okay. So she younger than Angela Bassett and look like she 20 years older than her. Okay. Well, I just wanted to share that that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but Jasmine and look guy, here. that's a hot Debbie mess. Allen is 68 and look younger than her. Yes. I don't know what that is, sis, but I saw that picture. I was devastated. Yeah, it's I was rough. Like, what the hell? Okay. It's that's one of mine. That's one of mine. I need you to okay. explain something to me. This is this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Sis, please mm-hmm. tell me what the hysteria behind 
Sierra and level up. What the hell is level up? I, oh, um, what does it mean? What does it mean? Why is that a song? I don't get this whole phenomenon about the level up thing. I'm, I'm trying to, I, I need to understand. I don't get it. Well, level, I mean, from, I don't know. I don't know if I know the song, if I heard it, but what I, what it seems to me. Okay. Is to step up your game on whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, my other question yeah. is, and this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Why the level up song sound like the song Sierra did ten years ago? All her stuff seemed like that. I I don't yeah, get I don't she, get Sierra. I don't I don't get her. I don't either. I don't. She's like an Ashanti artist. to me. I, yeah, I don't. I, I don't Sierra, Ashanti. I don't understand none of them. Okay, so a, a Marie. Okay, well, th- just that whole thing right there. I I was just like, and then level up, level up, level up, level up. I'm just like, what the hell? Are you, well, what are you talking about? Why is the first line of the song, you know, you want this yummy, yummy in, in all in your tummy? Oh, what? Okay. What that mean? Okay. And let me tell you something. I don't know. Russell Wilson, he ain't about that life. And how, uh-uh. how you go from future to Russell Wilson? Right. I'm just saying. Okay. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, this thing say this. That's old news. There's new news. I done did that before. Oh. What? That's in the song. Oh. That's a line in the song. Oh, okay. I done did that before. Oh, okay. Well, I don't get level up, and that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but I just did not get level up. Level, level up, level up, level up, level up. I have never even heard the song. I don't it's think. It's interesting. I, I know the title. I, it, I know Sierra sings it. Yeah. I know it became a hashtag. Yeah, and, it, and they got the whole dance. <clears throat> Excuse me. They got the whole dance and the whole routine, but it just makes no sense to me. And I'm like, she is just like a C tier artist to me. There's nothing about Sierra right. that makes me want to. There's a dance. Yeah. There's a whole little dance thing that level up, level up. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'm looking at it now. Oh, 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 exactly. break a hip, break, break a hip, break a back. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Sister, I got another one for you. Sis, hello. Where my sister went? Okay, oh. I just yeah, I just listen. Okay, yeah. I'm good. Can I can I can I give you another one? Yeah. Now I know that you did this. You and your family did the ancestry dot com thing, right? Yes, we and did. You actually found someone. Okay. Yes. Well, but okay, she found that us, was like the yeah. DNA or the one, two, three, right? So, is there a difference between ancestry dot com and then the help me find my family dot com? Is there a difference? Uh, there, you mean as in two different? Well, I know sites? they're two different sites, but what I'm getting at is like the ancestry dot com thing, and it says, you know, I am point eight percent um Scandinavian. Mm-hmm. I am point three five percent Indian. And then you go and start getting a damn Indian headdress because you point. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am 0.25%. Um, what's the one who wear the kilts? Oh, um, I- Irish. Irish. So I'm like, listen, you, you ain't connected to that. So I'm just like, okay, I get doing it. But then they take it all the way to the left with with the extra. You know what I'm saying? Well, I honestly think that that's just for commercial purposes. Oh, okay. Well, they okay. Well, I don't. Probably. Well, they got one with the black girl, and she was like, "Well, I found out that I'm from the something something tribe in Africa, Africa, and she had on all the damn African garb." And I'm just like, "Yo, you, you from Chicago? What, oh. what are you doing?" No. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's okay, just for well, effect. Okay, I don't like that effect. I don't like that effect at all. Shit. Okay, but anyway. Okay, that's all. Mm-hmm. So they get the they get the thing and then they get the tripping. Well, that's all. Okay. Well, this Talk ain't got me. nothing to do with nothing except for what you was just talking about. I suggested to my family that we do an ancestry commercial. Oh. <laughs> the whole commercial. <laughs> One that shows how you can how you people okay. can find you. Okay. And guess what? And 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 I don't care like what it is right right like who i got now that's all i care about i don't want no damn body to find me too damn i'm too damn old okay right okay 
Um, anything else? Well, it was good for her because now she's got some bloodline connection where she and I I get that, sis, and I get finding your relatives and stuff, but I'm just like, it's not even like you're half of. It's like two tenths of a percent, and then you just go on and want to change your name and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you mean with the the heritage part? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I get that with the from Chicago. Ethnicity. Yeah, you from the South Carolina? Part. Just chill. Why are you? You know, next thing you know, you done winning. Right. Well, yeah. I don't want to do an ancestry commercial and put on, you know, Chinese <laughs> yeah, right yes, hat. Yes. You know, I'm. Just, That's I already I'm know. Ancestry don't have to tell me about my my Chinese connection because exactly. I already That's, know. That's all. That's so, all I'm saying. I'm good. Next ancestry. I appreciate I appreciate ancestry for my cousin yes. being able to find us. Next thing you know, but I don't need them to give me my breakdown necessarily because I already kind of go know now done with 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 the changing your name to Chinese and all that stuff. You know, I mean, you know, just don't do all that. Just embrace it. Right. Well, my name well, already yeah. Chinese. Okay, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> just embrace it. Well, you know, don't go open up a damn Chinese restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> right. <laughs> that, that's the right. <laughs> And you don't have to worry about that because I don't oh, like Chinese. What, what is wrong with okay. you? Okay, but anyway. Okay, sis. I know. I always okay, get sis. that question. Only black Man, people like Chinese food. Get me some get me some white meat chicken, which they claim is dog, but I don't know, but it's shit uh-huh. good. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. I'm good. Now, really, I'm this good. right here really ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But I just gotta sh- I just oh my God. Remember what what's the lady's name um on the video and she's the black lady the real crazy one be doing all that foolishness on 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 her youtube page or whatever on her facebook page the one what she be doing? um dancing and um the nasty one oh the pew 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 pew, pew, pew lady. lady yes okay so sis i didn't have oh. anything to do the other morning so i went back and watch i went back and watched her video okay can oh, I just geez. can I just share with the listeners you really what the hell it. some of the some of the ignorant shit that she said in this damn video? <laughs> it just don't oh, make no sis. sense. She said she she said pussy got them snoring. <laughs> she, sis, she said wrap them feathers round your neck. They'll think you a chicken caught in a fan. I was like, what the hell? What? Why have we been on here two hours and 12 minutes? Hello. Sis, sis, she said, welcome to the motherfucking rainforest. Right. Sis, she said, she got the fattest pussy in the motherfucking land. Oh, you just said know, all the bad know, words. But I'm just saying, hold on, sis. And then she said, I'm a motherfucking bird flying and shitting on them holes. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. I couldn't even watch the whole thing. I had to turn it off. Because I didn't know what she was talking about. And then she about. said, I'm the ink and the instincts. Right. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Listen, I got two more for you. I mean, wait a minute. Sis, she said, if you love cock, you're a cocking bird. <laughs> I heard said, her say that. If you're a bull dagger, you're a dagger bird. <laughs> <laughs> she talking about Send her twelve dollars for your monthly subscription. <laughs> what? Sis, I watched that damn thing and I was in disbelief. And I was like, somebody's probably giving her twelve dollars. You know what I'm saying? Sis. Oh sis, God. You think was, so? Oh that my god. That was gosh. the most Please ignorant no. shit that I have ever seen in my life. It was so ignorant. So if anybody get a chance to watch the Pune Pune lady, I don't know what her name is, but she's a hot mess. Right. She's a hot mess. 
But that was some of the most yeah, ignorant shit. She said, if you a bull dagger, you a dagger bird. I was like, what? <laughs> I was right. like, what? What? <laughs> well, she getting yes. played because people Sister, apparently Sister. watching her. Uh, yeah, I know, right? I know, like right? You. I just, I had to because I was, because I was like, I just want to, where did you, where you get that from? How you do that? How you do that? You know what I'm saying? Right. Sis, hold on, hold on. Just 1.2 seconds. Because the compute tray was about to go out on me. Got to get some juice. Got to get some Die? juice. Okay. Oh, no. But anyway, sis, that, that's all I had for this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But I had to share that because that was some of the most ignorant shit I have ever seen in my life. But it made me laugh. But then I was just like, damn. Like, is that all you think of yourself? You know, I felt bad for her, and I don't know why. Right. But then it was funny as hell because some of that shit was hilarious. She said, I'm a motherfucking bird flying and shitting on them hoes. I was just like, where did you get that from? Mm. Like, where did that come from? But anyway, right. I thought that was funny. But anyway, so what else you, what, what you got for me, sis? You had something about a shoe. <laughs> oh, Lord, this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. So, really ain't got nothing to do with nothing. So, my flip flop. Your flip flop pop. pop. Okay. Flip flop pop. Oh, okay. Now, this was last week, mind you. But it's been on my mind because I done had shoes pop on me. Okay. A lot lately. It had me realize that, um, I have broken a shoe for the past three years on my birthday. In the past three years, hmm. every birthday, a shoe broke. I did. Yes. Now I did. you witnessed the last one. I'm not. I'm not, but we do and have don't it on you video. Laugh we do have it on video. <laughs> we do have it on video. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but I don't understand. Like, is that a thing? Is it telling me something that you know, is this, does it mean something that I have broken a shoe every birthday okay. for the past three years? Got, the first time. I got something for you. I was in New York. Why don't we call that lady the medium? What's, what's her name? The medium. I need Teresa to call her Caputo. Her, um, Teresa the, the, Caputo. The, 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 what is she? The something, something median. Okay. Why don't She's we call her and ask her what does it mean that for three years in a row you've broken a shoe or popped a strap for three years in a row, three years in a row on your birthday? What does that mean? What is the significance of that? On my birthday, I need to know. Let's. Well, you, I'm gonna have to Google. It. I'm gonna Google it yes. until I can get in touch with Teresa. I'm gonna Google it because you know I'm gonna contact I, her anyway because yeah. I'm trying to go see. That's her. what you said, and I, I have and her I do come think see that you're gonna make that song. happen. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm a I'm a attempt. I done already. I wrote it one time. I got have to. I'm gonna have to do it again. Okay. You already got to see my name. What's this? Hold on, hold on, again. hold on. Sidebar so, before anyway. we before before you before we finish and before we get up out of here. You want to go see the medium for what? Because I okay. want to talk to my mom and my dad. You want to talk to your mom and your dad? Okay. 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 I'm a I'm a I'm a leave yeah. that right there. Okay. I just wanted to know. Okay, I, I'm a, I'm a help. Then I then I will help you. Okay. Now you 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 don't feel like you can talk to mom and dad. You know, just no. You you want to go to her. You want no. I mean, I can, but I want some specific. Um, I need some specific. Uh, okay. Conversation. Okay. All right. And well, it don't really be a conversation, but some specifics. So it's not exactly a conversation. You know, the medium tells you what spirit has come to her and said okay. that they want you to know. <sighs> Sis, is there a, I, mm, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the medium thing. I would have to be there because I like, 
do you is there a questionnaire do they do they can they go on your facebook page can how you know what i'm saying how can they mm. yeah. Yes, That's so a good see, question. I would have I to see not know. all of that because I just don't want anybody to, or you to get okie doke. You know what I'm saying? But and and it could it could be it mm-hmm. could be legit. I'm not sure. But when you go, I want to go with you because you know I'm gonna have a thousand questions. Okay, okay. Oh yes, okay. I got you. It's all a right. date. Yes, when you, whenever we, we get it's her, a date, and we'll we'll get on up there. She's in New Jersey. Where is she? Okay, hell, you could have gone up there yes, with Roz in New Jersey. Gone up there with Roz. <laughs> You could have found right. her. Right. <laughs> okay. Just okay. trying to find her. What's this? Um, oh, geez. We've had, um, you know, two hours we've and We've been on here minutes, two hours but this and 23 is what minutes. Do. But this is what we do. This is crazy. This is what we do. And it is what we do. I, listen, I hope y'all listen for listen two hours more, and 23 minutes. Listen to some of it at breakfast, some of it at lunch, and some of it mm-hmm. at dinner. Mm-hmm. That's what you do. You don't have to take it all in at one exactly. time because see, we do. This is what we do all the time. So we be on the phone for hours and hours. So right. yes, but just we hope you enjoy. We need you to email us, Lynn and Kim. Dot a e n at gmail dot com. Lynn and Kim. Dot a e n at gmail dot com. We need some feedback. We need some, we need some topics. We need, what do you want to talk about? What do, what, what are some of the things that you're interested in? Again, so we can talk about it because that's what we do. But sis, you know, I enjoyed talking to you tonight. Right. You know. Well, yeah, I, 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 I do oh, have a this, another, this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> you know what? I forgot. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I really did. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, "What? How the hell you forgot?" Like, okay, I really did, did it in like 1.8 seconds. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It was just right there. Maybe because it's and one it, o'clock in the morning. Right. <laughs> you know how? Maybe so. Know how I flub up my words when it get past midnight. <laughs> So maybe you yes, forget shit. Yes, I guess I exactly, forget shit exactly. when it's past midnight. Oh my well, god! It's not like we're not going to talk in about five hours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, but it was but it was podcast material. Go to the depths of your soul and try to pull it up. Okay. Okay, hold on. You know what? You stupid. Mm. Get, get it? Get mm. it? I can't find it. Okay. I do have another one though. Did you know that K Michelle's name is yes, Kimberly I did. Michelle? And do you know for the listeners, my name is Kimberly Michelle. Hot damn. Now nah, Hot damn. Why she, now but the question is, why did she go from K Michelle to Kimberly? Because on Love and Hip Hop, she's Kimberly. So why did she go to Kimberly? Oh yes, her name. Which, hip-hop, which, when they do the, the pre-show or whatever, oh. yes. Okay, of course. Now it's one o'clock in the morning, and Poco is in there barking. Well, so I don't know what's all that. I don't know what that's about. I hear. Well, I saw her on the little uncensored show, and she said she goes by okay. Kimberly Michelle. I mean, she goes by Kimberly. So I think she goes by Kimberly now because she being a little sedated. She, got, she a got, got a new ass, a new butt that look yes decent. That actually looks well like because something. before she had the surgery, her ass was a hot mess. And let me tell you who else ass is a hot mess. Mm-hmm. And you and I love me some Nicki Minaj. Ooh. Okay, I'm I'm all about the Barbie, but oh, Nicki Minaj God. ass, Nicki Minaj mm-hmm. ass to go. is a hot mess. Mm-mm. She need to do something with that, that. Whole and, 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 and and I love her. I love her as an artist and a rapper, but her ass is a hot mess. So I don't know if she need to contact Kimberly mm-hmm. Michelle all the way, <laughs> and 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 talk to the, the plastic <laughs> surgeon who undid her do. But because she was looking, right. Kimberly Michelle, K Michelle so was looking her deformed. Do. Yeah. She was. She oh, looked man. like the penguin okay. off of well, Batman. You know what? You're right. <laughs> You're right. She did. <laughs> she did. I'm sorry. 
them little teeny legs and that big old bottom. Oh yeah, definitely look like Danny DeVito as I'm the hoping, penguin. Okay, Michelle, we Batman. love you. Just in case you ever listen to our podcast, we love you. <laughs> we do. Yeah, but your ass was love a hot you, mess. But, but I'm your sorry, ass was that's a what hot the booty looked like back in the day. That's it's right. gone now, so oh we can just talk okay. about it. Anything else is? That's all. Because well, if don't you get it back, we'll talk was, about so it never next mind. week. Um, as we do, we're going to give a shout out I to Defy Life. We're going to give a shout out to our producer because he's going to have a whole lot of work this week right here. This week right here. Do your, do your thing. Mm-hmm. Do we your thing, Mr. Producer. producer. Do your thing for us because we had some technical difficulties. <laughs> so we need, we need you. Sis, yes. oh, are you Lord. ready? I'm ready. I'm Kim the Big Sis. And I'm Lynn the Little Sis. And we are out until next week. Yes, sir. Shh. You hear that? Listen closer. That, my friend, is the deafening sound of focus. It drowns out all the useless noise that can clutter the moment. Naysayers don't exist. Haters? Smaters? The peanut gallery? Who's that? When you're in your zone... All that noise and all that buzz is just elevator music. So, enjoy your journey, focus on your goal, and bask in the quiet roar that is progress. Because when it's your time to shoot that shot, spit that verse, or close that deal, the only voice that matters is yours. Defy life.